Now, there's one more thing I want to show you, which is a trick with the magnetic mask. The magnetic mask is a powerful masking tool, which is incredibly easy to use and works really well. Keep in mind that what the mask is doing is it's selecting a foreground object, which means that if you're going to use the mask, you're always dealing with two layers, the foreground, which has the mask applied, and the background. Well, I want to make these elephants them feel special. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the top clip because foreground always goes on top. We'll open up the effects menu. I'm going to grab this divider and just drag over to give myself some room. Drag the magnetic mask and drag up. Always drag it into the viewer. Don't drag it on top of the clip. It's just easier. Drag it on top of the viewer, on top of your first subject. Ta-da! I've selected an elephant. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to include this elephant as part of the same mask. If I drag the mask up a second time, the first mask will be processed, then the second mask will be processed. They don't work together. Notice that this plus key is lit, meaning add to the mask. So I'm going to click on my next subject, which is right here. Now, both elephants are part of the same mask. You then click Analyze. And a trick with, with the magnetic mask is there's almost, there's almost always a glitch on the first frame that the analysis starts. Where possible, set your playhead on the first frame. And that way, if you have to trim the glitch, it's easy to do. Here, we should be glitch free. Also, watch this elephant on the right. Watch. Notice what he's doing. He's scratching his leg. It took me a while to see that, but I just think that's hysterical. Can't reach down with his trunk, so he's going to scratch his leg with his other leg. Okay, so now we've got this. We've done our analysis. We click Done, and look at that. I've cut to the background, which I've desaturated and blurred back. I then insert my foreground here, and now as I play it, I've got my elephants in focus and almost a fantasy feeling. Go oh, scratch your leg. Come on. Show us what it's like to scratch a leg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, perfect. Let's say that I want to blur back my elephants. Well, I select the top clip, go up to where the magnetic mask is, and if you drag up to the top line where it says magnetic mask, this icon appears only when I drag up into that top line. See it? And when you click on it, you can invert the mask. And now the elephants are blurry and gray, and the foreground is in focus. So can we invert a mask? Yes, but it's really hard to find this icon because Apple hid it. You got to drag up to here, click on it, and say invert mask. Can you have more than one element in the same frame be masked? Yes, we just did that with two elephants. And can you have more than one mask applied? Yes. For instance, I could select a mask for the tree and do one thing with that, another thing with the elephants, and a third thing with the background. The magnetic mask gives us lots of options to be able to do special effects with elements inside the frame. If you like the tips that I covered today, Take a look at the power tips that I wrote about. It's about a year and a half old. It doesn't have the magnetic mask, but has everything else. It's available at Amazon.com and other bookstores. More than 500 different tips covering every aspect of Final Cut that help you go deep inside the application to make the most of it. I haven't promoted the book in a long time. I figured this is a perfect chance to do that. If this is of interest to you, please take a look. I'd be very grateful.